It's not uncommon for people to say they feel like they have PTSD from their knee dislocations. It can feel so validating to hear that from other people. For a while the admin of our Facebook group felt awful for avoiding the group they created because of feeling triggered by it. People were asking to join the group and having to wait for approval to get support. Admin wasn't reading or replying to all the posts because they just didn't want to look at it. I'm glad to share that we're past that and spending more time than ever trying to grow our community, and get resources. We realized we need to make some changes to make the group feel safer so now we try to post pictures that may bother someone in the comments and put a warning at the top of the post. In videos I'm not sure if we will ever show a real dislocation, but definitely not without warning. The good news is we can probably figure out together in this video whether or not you have it and how to start treating it. However, if you want a formal diagnosis I am not qualified, you would have to see a mental health professional for that. We'll start by identifying what it is, what it can look and feel like, and then we'll talk about some options for treatment and you can start treating it right away. Do you really need a formal diagnosis? I don't need a doctor to tell me I have the flu before I start taking measures to treat the symptoms. So maybe not. What is PTSD and how is it diagnosed? A formal diagnosis requires a mental health professional to evaluate and decide you meet several diagnostic criteria from a manual called the DSM-5. You have to have been exposed to a traumatic event, which disturbs you, in various ways such as unwanted upsetting memories, nightmares, flashbacks, emotional distress after exposure to traumatic reminders. Physical reactivity after exposure to traumatic reminders. You have to experience avoidance of trauma-related thoughts or feelings, or trauma-related reminders. Negative thoughts or feelings got worse after the trauma-like inability to recall key features of the trauma. Overly negative thoughts and assumptions about oneself or the world. Exaggerated blame of self or others for causing the trauma. Negative mood. Decreased interest in activities. Feeling isolated. Difficulty experiencing a positive mood. Trauma-related arousal and reactivity began or worsened after the trauma, in the following ways, irritability or aggression, risky or destructive behavior, hypervigilance, heightened startle reaction, difficulty concentrating, or difficulty sleeping. The symptoms have to last for more than one month, and create distress or functional impairment. Got that? It's okay, you don't have to get all of that. It's not complete anyway and I'll put a link to the website in the video description so you can read the entire criteria yourself. It could manifest in different ways for different people. But here is an example of what one person experiences. I had a knee dislocation a couple of months ago. I was walking and fell. There was no warning and I didn't even know that could happen and it was so scary. Even though I'm recovering well, I'm walking so carefully people have noticed and having a lot of anxiety over the possibility that it could happen again. Sometimes I replay how it happened in my mind even though I don't really mean to and it makes me feel sick to my stomach. My heart pounds and my breathing changes. I sort of freeze for a moment and I can feel it happening, I can see it, it's like I'm living it all over again. I look away if I see someone slipping, or running, even on TV, to try to avoid reliving it. Lately I don't want to do the things I used to do. I don't know if I'm depressed, it's safer to just stay at home. My family says I'm irritable and seem angry. I can't focus or finish things I start. I have almost no social life anymore and I'm having trouble working. Even if you don't meet all the criteria, or you are not sure, it doesn't mean what you're going through is not just as important or serious. I say call it whatever you want. If one part is affecting your relationships or quality of life, I think you should consider treating it the same. Some people want to change the wording from disorder to injury to remove the stigma from PTSD. There just shouldn't be any stigma but it's harder to remove that. We are people, not machines. We think having PTSD means we are broken but I think it's actually evidence that we are not. Things that should bother us should bother us. We should deal with the mental and emotional side of an injury the same as we deal with a physical injury. There shouldn't be any shame in that or in treating it. How do you treat this? Creating the Facebook group for knee dislocations was part of a plan to help medical trauma symptoms. I attended a lecture where they said when you have PTSD the most important thing is that you talk about it. Which is great news because that means you can do something right away to help yourself and it's free. Even though telling someone what happened can mean reliving it and in a way going through the trauma again, you need to repeat what you experienced to someone, or to as many people who will listen as you can. In talk therapy, to a friend, or in a support group. 
If you're dealing with knee dislocations, join our group on Facebook. If you're struggling with something else, there's probably a group for that. Talk about it as much, as many times as it takes. You need to let your mind deal with it instead of pushing it away. Find people who will validate you. I'll start. I hear you. Yes that really happened and it was not normal and not okay. All of a sudden something happened that was unexpected and unheard of. It changed things and shook your sense of security. Life was not the same after. Why did it happen to you? It doesn't seem like a very normal human experience and it doesn't seem fair. Some people may not even believe it happened or the emotional impact, but it did. We've learned to trust our bodies and it can damage our trust in reality. A mental health professional can work with you in depth if you choose and offer more treatments such as cognitive behavioral therapy, group therapy, and medication. EMDR is a treatment many swear by that involves training to move your eyes in a certain way while processing trauma. Other things to try. Focusing on the present can help. Meditation can help with that. There are videos and even apps to help you. Focus on your breathing with breathing exercises. Keep a diary, journal, or blog. Tell yourself that you are safe and remind yourself that most of the time that thing doesn't happen. Try distraction techniques. Try grounding techniques. Learn tapping. I usually try to joke around a little in my videos. Humor can be a coping mechanism and I hope it doesn't offend anyone. I have compared a full kneecap dislocation to a leg suddenly falling off because at times that is what it has felt like. It's part of me trying to accept myself and my reality because there are some things that are outside of my control. If any of this helped you please hit the subscribe button to let me know. If you need more resources, check the video description for any programs I find and add later. I'll put a link to coffee with a friend which may help if you need a dedicated ear or a safer, confidential space to talk for any reason. Don't expect yourself to just get over it. Allow yourself to go through it and heal. Take care.